Joe. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is a good welcoming to Tampa. Yeah, Welcome back to the fourth day. We are we left Denver this morning and started our drive to Telluride. Telluride, and we we're just driving, looking for somewhere to stop, maybe jump in the river. And there's this. We saw this big lake, so we found stopped over here. It's called Georgetown Lake. It looks absolutely freezing. There's not <laughs> a single person swimming. Everybody's on paddle boards or fishing. And it's very windy, so we're gonna jump in. We got a couple Basically. more hours to drive, so get a little wake up call going. Yeah, a nice little wakey wakey. To an ice bath. It's harder to breathe now. Look, we're all red. Dude, I just... <laughs> and that's how you do it. Quick jump, quick stop. Very, very windy. Super cold. We tried convincing a few others to join us, but they... We just got a hell no answer. It's a hell nah. It's cold. We just look at the temperature and it's like low 60s, high 50s. Which, for me, living in, in Atua, going from Costa Rica, which is like... 80s and 90s everywhere. It's cold. It's definitely freezing, but it's it's good. It's good. It's a little little wake up call for the drive. Now we continue. Wide awake. Get back on the road. Check off your list of goodbyes. You're sick of Saturday nights. What did I call you? You waited for hours what if I told you? What if you I told know you? see you tomorrow You can say your last goodbye These trees are breathtaking And also the altitude <laughs> To be honest but just wow, we just came into this kind of, how to describe it, with just trees on both sides all the way up. Basically just forests on both sides. And it was like... We're now arriving to Telluride. Well, we are in Telluride. Really, really beautiful. Oh my God, the view! Alright everybody, so it is now nighttime. We managed to find a campsite and we did meet up with some friends, family so friends. Friends of like our childhood best friend Soleil and it's their parents and them they showed us around they pretty much gave us this campsite like they reserved it for us earlier today they put their tent here for us we put our tent up now they set us up with so many things like snacks we had dinner at their place they wouldn't let us even wash the dishes it was like just like literally <laughs> so shout out to them the nicest the nicest people like they gave us camping chairs sleeping bags like certain stuff that we maybe didn't have wasn't required but just to like make it the comfiest night. Like yeah. look, they gave us firewood. They helped us out a lot. They gave us so a magazine to Kindle. Um, basically, like, yeah, some good, some helpful stuff for the campsite, some chairs, oh, stuff to start the fire. And actually sleeping bags, because we didn't bring any. And they it said it might like get a little bit low 50s here. Colder tonight. So yeah. we're trying to build this, get this set up. All I know, I got lost along the way. Shout out to Kaylin, Bain, Ryan, and Jen for the hospitality. Hooking us up, telling us like where to go and tell you ride, even in the Grand Canyon, the Moab. Like they helped us out with so many things, like she washed our clothes, they gave us dinner. It's just amazing. So amazing hospitality. And we're going right now through what seems like Telluride downtown, like main street of the Telluride. Pretty small, chill town, really cool looking. 
really like way more slow paced than it's other such places. Such a different vibe. Such a different vibe. Joe. <laughs> this is a good welcoming to town. Yeah, we I just mean. parked, and as we parked, fans started coming towards us. Just got here two seconds ago, and there's like a band. What is this exactly for? This is like a certain time. All right, we're here in the butcher and the baker. Food is looking. Amazing, amazing. Avocados, some eggs, some greens. Woo, so we just need gonna to get eat a bunch of food right now since that way we can just drive. Most of the way. Make too many stops. But wow, I'm just looking around. Just, just look, it's just, just mountains. And this is downtown Telegram. Just amazing views everywhere you look. This is downtown. Every the main direction. City. Main street is right there. And look, you have all the city. Yeah, cool anywhere you look. Just amazing views of the mountains and stuff. And it's like just kind of normal, I guess, if you've lived here, but you just. Not, not, not normal. Used to just, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's really just culture bad. shock. Something that was like very like shocking is as soon as we arrived, well, we started hearing some music like jazz over there, and then we started driving down this way, and we saw like a bunch of people come out of nowhere, and then like jazz music, and then next thing we realized it was like a whole jazz band of like all these high school kids from Utah, and they're all like doing a whole band show all across the street and everything, put some clips in now. But it was just like so cool to appear to town, having it be so cool, and just like in a way. And directly hosting us like that is just really cool. And yeah, just the odds place. of like as we're driving and parking, there's this man. We're just that's our first impression of the town. We're just like, wow, this is like really one of the coolest places ever. And we are out. Got a little bit of food here in Tulliride. Wow, really cool place. Not sure it's the most maybe economical or cheapest of places to stay or visit or something, but we were just here for one day and can definitely say really cool spot, highly recommend. Tully Ride, very cool. Pretty cool to check that off the list. And there's honestly so much here that we couldn't, didn't get a chance to do because it's known for like skiing and snowboarding during the winter and then also mountain biking right now when there's no snow and then, so it would have been cool to do that, but maybe one day in the future because I'd love to send some downhill trails like, like they seem to have here. Hey, we're out. Oh my gosh, there's so many people mountain biking because the trails, the trails look so fun. Dream definitely to check off the bucket list is go to some place like this with a mountain bike and the way you can just ride the gondola up and you just downhill it's the free everything's free the whole time you just take the gondola back up if you want to you never have to go up hills something just about that sounds so fun and these are just like actual proper mountain biking trails with turns and kind of curves and like kind of like single track type of stuff all the way down the mountain probably 10 15 to 20 minutes of just riding straight that sounds fun one day Okay, so after many, many hours of searching around, this tent pole landed in my hand. <laughs> okay, so basically, we've made it to Utah, and we wanted to go to the Arches National Park today for sunset, but we got here a little bit later than we thought because we spent a little bit more time in Colorado. And so the plan is to, well, we're basically setting up our, our camp real quick. And each day we do get a little bit quicker at setting up the tent. Yeah, one more efficient. And packing up the bags. So we're trying to set out our camp up, get all ready, get an early night, and then wake up early and go to the Arches National Park for the sunrise. And that's the spot where there's those rock formations that are a complete arch. Um, you may have seen them in YouTube videos, maybe movies. Really, really cool. And we'd like to catch that. They say they're open 24 seven. So hopefully we can get there in the morning. 
All right, let's get this tent set up. 